to make sure that. Welcome, fellow Cakey, is to Adventure Airsoft. My name is Mike. This is Attack the Fort. No, this is not. This is Attack the Bunker at uh, Outpost Airsoft. So there's two flanks to this. There's right flank here down the main road where you've got a load of uh, cable reels to go, try and go, get go, down. Go, 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 go. Uh, the idea here then is to try and suppress the enemy as much as you can to try and get people moving along the uh, along the reel with cover to then get close as you can towards the uh, towards the bunker itself and therefore you can then uh, attack the bunker from a different angle a more acute angle and then hopefully you'll be able to be able to take them out that's the plan anyway let's uh, let's see how it goes at the minute i'm fielding the mtw wolverine mine's the uh, seven inch the slightly shorter version um not that popular uh, compared to the 10 inch obviously but um yeah, still a, still a really good gun. Just falls down ever so slightly on a sort of top range, but um, for me to field it in either CQB or on, on um, sort of larger, more open maps like this, is uh, it's a lot easier to use and move manoeuvre. And I can still fit all the uh, all the crap on it, as you can see. Yeah. Not something I'd normally do there. Not something I've ever been trained in to try and try and avoid shooting other people's heads. Obviously, for obvious reasons. But obviously, you can get away with it a bit more in airsoft if you've got people that you are more predictable. So some good players like that there are a lot more predictable in knowing what they uh, what they're doing and they're sort of more um, operationally uh, sort of aware of sort of rounds going over their heads and they know not to sit up and uh, get shot in the back or the head. Equally, it's probably a good idea for you not to uh, not to do that in the first place and kind of put them at uh, sort of risk. So at the minute, yeah, just a bit of suppression fire. Get get down these cable drums as much as possible and try and try and suppress the uh, suppress the bunker um, and everyone around the surrounding bunker to um, try and keep them down so you can move up to it. Come in. So I've been called forward because the guy hasn't quite got the range with his thing. Yeah. <laughs> So we've become quite effective. One through the window here, the bunker, two to the other side. And then a couple on the back of the stairs that you can see, uh, using that as a bit of a, a, a bit of a rest position. Not quite resting. And there's one sneaky one right between where the uh, drums were, so the gas, gas canisters. Managed to get him. Really, uh, really good shot. Let, let me suppress him if you want to run up. Give me a sec though. So again, no movement without fire, remember. Do not move without fire. Hang on. So if you can see right down the centre there, there is a, uh, a cut open um, water sort of bowser, a uh, water container with a hole in it the slit and that's kind of pillbox um, sort of idea that they're he's running there and he's in the pillbox trying to he's shooting out just trying to suppress him as much as possible blues keep pushing up now there's no way he's not affecting that <laughs> So, got it in the head, ran back, run back in uh, quickly, obviously to it, prevent them moving it, up. It, Everyone's sort of huddled together, we need to suppress them, we need to get, them, get moving further forward. We are timed on here by the way, the, uh, the fastest time uh, for our run through this compound uh, and the, the opposing team rerunning it is the, the winners, so uh, that's the aim of the game to get through as soon as possible. We've got unlimited respawns, they have got limited respawns, they fall back when they get, they get hit. So now it's the point of clearing this out. There's a few little stragglers in good little hiding positions. And we managed to, Blue, managed push to clear, up, push up to clear a few of those out. I think it's pretty much clear in the, in the sort of um, the, the ground around the bunker. But there's still the pillbox to contend with. So I know I'm on the far left of his um, his sort of peripheral vision there, and I'm, I'm obscured by the, uh, the corner of the pillbox. So I know I can get fairly close to him. So now my, now my plan is just to suppress it so that he can't move in there and he can't shoot out, and then basically just get guns on him. So yeah, I took that as well. Uh, uh, whether he got me or someone else got me, I'm not entirely sure. But um, you know, 
Go got on, him anyway, that's, on. The, that's the main thing. Right up there now, gents, we're right up there. There's one or two left. See, the, the emphasis is people are getting a bit tired and uh, don't want to start running back here. in there. But hopefully, that was that was it. The bar goes in a second, and that's us taking the bunker in a, uh, in a fairly decent time. I'm not sure what it was. So that's the bow, uh, the bow going in second, and that is the uh, the end of our attack on the bunker. Uh, Can't see him, mate. Can't see him. This next phase here now is for us to attack the uh, the sort of back of the bunker. They've they've reset their positions and they fell back behind the bunker. We've got to again uh, attack the next phase of it uh, to get raised the bow. Uh, so you can see we're moving to the sort of left hand flank of the bunker. I prefer that's the easiest way rather than trying to trying to go on the right hand side, which is just a, a, a basically a choke point of a gate. Okay. Watch it, I'll go and grenade it, okay. So we've got a grenade. If you're not seeing the grenade video, I've got a video of uh, quite a few deployments of the grenades uh, on this day, just to show the robustness of reusable grenades nowadays. Gotcha! To make sure that uh, people try and pay the respects uh, of the rules of the game, which was uh, not to put your gun through. Um, Keolin. Nobody immediately behind there, which we thought there was, which was okay. Guy poking his head up for some reason, uh, just left it. Get ready, gents, get ready, gents, move around here. Now we'll try and push around as soon as possible, push around really quickly to here. No, he's gone, good. Pick up the grenade, use that again later. Move in. Again, trying to suppress her whilst we move some more people in to try and take this. Push in, fella, push in, push in, be down there, go. Constantly trying to be uh, sort of situationally aware on, on our guys moving in from the uh, the right and flank to the left. Deployed that thinking there's someone around the corner, but uh, don't think there was. And then uh, I think, oh, that's uh, that's them moved out. You can see the bell directly in front of us. There's a couple by the bell. I think it's clear there. And it's not. So that's me. Um, don't think we had enough time there to get back to, to sort of respawn to then come back in. Um, had the grenade gun there. We're, re we're really on the bell anyway. There was a couple of guys on the other side of it. So now it's a case of just uh, sort of rearming and getting ready. There goes the bell. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Please yeah, give yeah. us a like and subscribe as prompted on the screen. Press the little bell icon for, for more content. And uh, hopefully I will see you uh, on a field somewhere in the northwest or the UK this year. Take care. Bye-bye.